thanks, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've got uh, the bulk of people who wanted to come here. Um, we just want to unveil this plaque. Um, it's a plaque that commemorates the police force commitment to the LGBTI community, but most importantly, the transgender community, um, on this, the uh, 20th day of November. And every year it's been designed in conjunction with the Gender Centre with beautiful words, I must say, in my opinion, um, that really show a spirit of cooperation and a spirit of moving forward together. Um, I will read the, the words that are written on the plaque, but this is a really special place in my opinion and we, we've spent a great deal of time working out where this should go uh, because it's out the front of the Surrey Hills Police Station. Surrey Hills Police Station for policing is the home of LGBTI community. Um, and just over to the, to the back, and I'm, I'm actually facing it now, the Police First Force Service Memorial. That's a memorial where uh, officers, uh, whether they be um, sworn or unsworn police officers, um, who have lost their lives, not necessarily in the course of duty, but who have lost their lives whilst being employed by the New South Wales Police Force, they make an appearance on that wall. Um, and it, is, it has become a very, very important part of our culture to recognise people that have passed. So the positioning of this plaque and this memorial um, is very significant in my view because it stands and looks straight at the police officers uh, in, in the same fashion in a way, but certainly the transgender community, uh, we remember them for the injustice suffered, suffered by people in the past from the violence and, and, and inhumanity that they have endured over many, many years. And what I, what I really would like to achieve with this monument is to say, well, uh, let's have a memory of where we are right now from this point in history. There's not much that we can do about times gone by. There's not much that I can do to rectify the shortcomings of the New South Wales Police Force. I can't do that. All I can do is from this point in time try to make it as best I can and to make the New South Wales Police Force a really, really strong partner with people like the Gender Centre, like the Inner City Legal Centre. Uh, like Queer Screen and like so many others of our of our partners, um, the City of Sydney Council, etc. We just want to be part of it and we just want to show the way forward uh, for, for any transgender people. And when I think of transgender people, I just think of how many victims, how many transgender victims would feel comfortable walking into police stations? And the answer to that would be not very many. So it's our job, it's our function to make our culture in our New South Wales Police Force that much better that we can attract people and they know when they walk into a police station that they won't be judged and that they will get some sort of understanding from some sort of a person who's got some sort of an understanding of the transgender community. So that's, that's the goal, that's the ideology behind it. Um, I, I, I noticed that the plaques and the, the uh, banners that were shown earlier and that just makes me more determined to make sure that we are aligned with the community both inside and outside the New South Wales Police Force. So can I ask Ella um, to kindly do the honours and unveil our plaque, uh, which will stand here in perpetuity, um, I trust. And then I'd like to just read out the words that has been so carefully uh, crafted for this particular monument. Thank you. So. So what it says is uh, Transgender Day of Remembrance, November 20. We didn't put a date, a, a year on it because we want to we be able to, to remember every year. Um, this plaque is dedicated to the transgender, gender diverse and other vulnerable communities who have experienced discrimination, abuse and violence. Stand proud. The New South Wales Police Force stands with you.